Hello, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of InDesign Handy Hints with short and sweet Adobe Training. Today we're going to be looking at the time-saving technique of using snippets when you're working within InDesign. Snippets are a great way to save page elements as their own files, and then you can just drop those elements into other documents. So it's really good for things like headers on flyers that you might be using across multiple different pieces of marketing collateral. You can save those particular elements as their own files to save you having to open up existing artwork and copying and pasting it across from that artwork. So to get started, we'll just run through how you can save something as a snippet. From the menu, I'm just gonna grab my selection tool and then I'm going to just click and drag across the top part of this particular brochure that I've been working on. So that's now selected these page elements at the top of the brochure, which is the logo and the image in the background there. So to say this is a snippet, I do it through the export menu. So if I go up to file, scroll down to export, and from there, I can save that snippet inside of my folder that I'm working on. Now come down here into your format options, and if you scroll down to the InDesign snippet format and click save, it's now saved that into the folder. So I can come across to a new document. I've got a single sided flyer that I want to use that same header on the top of. It's then just a case of placing the snippet. I go up to file, scroll down to place, navigate to where I've saved that inside of my folder and open that one up. Then my cursor is filled with a preview of the snippet. Now there's two things I can do here. If I click and drag the snippet like this, it will place it to the exact size and position that I've clicked and dragged to. I'll undo that action and instead this time what I'm going to do is hold down my option key. And now if I hold down option or alt on PC and then just click the mouse, it drops the snippet in the exact XY axis that it was in in the original document. So as you can see it's dropped it up here in the top left hand corner. So that's the default area that it will drop if you hold down the option key. If you wanted to change that, if you go up to your InDesign preferences and then scroll down to your file handling options, it's in here that you can change the snippet import option rather than dropping it by default into the cursor location. If I click on the drop down and choose original location, that will now be the default when I just click and release into my new document. It will drop it in its original location from where it was copied. If I hold down option now, it will place it where I click and drag the, the cursor to the exact size. So that's how you can use snippets in your InDesign documents. They're a great time-saving technique. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next Adobe InDesign tutorial.